Hey guys, welcome to machine learning for people who know Linux. No, that's backwards. Welcome to the intro to Linux commands or bash scripting for data scientists or people who do machine learning or analysts of any kind. My name is Dave. Uh, I'm doing this because it's really unusual, but I find that there's so many people out there who do, who basically data scientists, anyone who does machine learning, a lot of analysts, who just don't know the basics behind moving around at a Linux command line or parsing through files or doing basically anything in Linux or Unix, which is not good because that's almost an essential skill to have if you're doing that stuff. So I figured I'd make and I've, I've taught this at company after company, and I realized finally I got to put this online and just show people. So I figured I'd record all this, and so that's what I'm doing. Basically, I want this to be a resource for you, along with the cheat sheet that I've made, so that you can actually take this and just start being way more productive at a command prompt. You know, in terms of everything, I here's some basic use cases. Like I, if I ask someone, hey, can you tell me how many lines that file has? And what they do is they load the file up into Python pandas or R or a browser or, or anything. And that's not the way to tell how many lines the file has. That's really not efficient, especially if the file's a gig. Why are you doing that? And or ask people, what are the last three lines of this file? And that's exactly, they do the same thing. They load it up into something. Or I ask people, hey, can you batch rename all of the files in this directory? And someone looks at me like I've grown an extra head. And, you know, what, what am I supposed to do? Uh, that's so, this is hopefully going to serve as a resource so you can do all that stuff. I want to apologize in advance. I go through all of this stuff a little quickly. And... A lot of the stuff that I've recorded is a little dry in terms of it's not the most entertaining, and I, I apologize for both those things. I At some point, I absolutely reserve the right to re-record all of this so that it is not heinously boring, but hopefully, the, the goal is for you to get information out of it, so hopefully none of those things are too off-putting. Um, the one thing I ask that is that while you go through this, just keep a pen and paper on you and take notes, or or take notes on your computer. It's We've all done the thing where we've learned, taken the online course or done the, uh, oh yeah, I know exactly what's going on. And then we realize like two months later, oh, I remember I knew how to do that. And you have to go back and refer to the thing you'd learned from earlier, which is just completely, which is maddening. So just take notes. You'll throw them away in four to six months, but you know. Um, let me go through what we're going to learn really quickly because that's simple. We're going to start out with how to navigate on the command line. Like we're going to just learn exactly what to do on a command line to make yourself, you know, like I, a lot of people at a Linux command line don't know what they're doing and keep, you know, like single button presses and holding down arrow keys. And that's not a good, good thing at all. Followed by how to navigate through directories. Um, and obviously how to look through directories and how to find files in directories. We're going to go over both of them. Once we've done that, we're going to go into how to look at files, because that's a simple thing. And then how to search through files, to find things in files, because that's really, really important as well. Once we've gone through them, we're going to take a little right turn on the sheet. We're going to figure out how to ex how to broaden your selection to look at many things. Because if I say, hey, can you look at the this set of files? Um, oh, nice. I don't select all that. If it, Can you look at this set of files? Uh, a lot of people don't know how to do that. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to teach you some of the shortcuts that a lot of people don't use that are super, super useful like this. Uh, and then we're going to teach you how to combine commands because it's one thing to be able to search in one file. It's another thing to be able to search through all your files and do stuff with, with, the, with the output of that. Once we've done all that, we'll go into the meat of things. We'll go into how to parse and manipulate files and input of any kind. Um, I don't own this and I don't have permission to it. That's that's great. I don't care. Um, uh, that's weird. In any case, so how do you parse and manipulate files? How do you look at the beginning or ends of files? How do you you know move around in files, sort them, do all sorts of things that you may already be doing in Python or R, but if you're doing ad hoc analyses, it may be faster just to do them at the command line really, really quickly rather than having to load the whole thing up in Python and then deal with all sorts of things that you might not need to deal with. Like, how do you deal with files where every single line has a different number of fields? In Python and R, you can do that, but it's painful. At the command line, it's really easy to do that. 
Uh, once we've done that, we're going to come up here. We're going to learn how to compare files because we all use Git at this point. And if you don't know how to actually compare files, uh, you're in a world of pain right now. Then we're going to go into how to actually run stuff in the background. Like how do you, if I'm on a Linux system and I want to log out, how do I keep all my commands running in the background? Uh, that's super, super important, especially since now we're a lot of us are working in the cloud. Um, you're all going to learn, I say the words super and very and really so many times it's ridiculous. Oh man. And then we're going to go into coding. Just like, how do you actually, and you may sit there and think, I don't need coding. There's nothing I need coding for. Why, why do I need coding? What is coding? For? Like, I, I'll never actually need that. And I give you many, not many, but several good examples of many, it's bigger than several apparently. I give you several good examples of why you really actually need to learn the coding stuff. We finished with something that's like a right turn that's not really related to anything. How do you compress and transfer files? Uh, it's odd, a lot of people don't know how to do this properly. Uh, they just, oh, my computer does it for me, but then they end up creating things that are nightmarish for other people to deal with. So we go over that briefly.